What's going on there, Guardians? Hopefully before this video is over, I can kind of entice you guys to get out there and play in the Iron Banner, participate, and hopefully earn an effort each spear as a reward, because it is, without a doubt, in my mind, the best sniper rifle in Destiny. And hopefully by the time this video is over, if you stay through the entire thing, you will agree with me too. So if you enjoy the video, let me know, hit the like button as it always helps out a lot, and I'm going to break this down as best I can and show you some impressive gameplay with it in the situations given at the end of this video. So, let's dive straight in. The Effort Eats Spear is the Iron Banner Sniper Rifle. In the first slot, you have either the Arc, Void, or Solar Damage. Moving on over to the next one, you have the Scopes available. That's completely preference. It's entirely up to you. My recommended one would be the Ambush Scope, and that's located in the third tier. And I believe there's only one other, and I think it's a medium range scope, that shares that one. So, you have a 50-50 chance of rolling that one right off the bat. And up for the first ability slot, we have Spray in Place, Surplus, Unflinching, Rodeo, Performance Bonus, Take a Knee, and Double Down as your potential options. Now, spray and play is the one that I want to look for for PvP. 50% faster base reload on empty is ideal. It's very important on this gun because it does only have three shots available. Field Scout boosts it up to six, but for the most part, I actually recommend you guys to stay with the three round, ignore Field Scout, go with Snapshot in PvP, and hope and pray for final round to be coupled with that spray and play. That is the optimal, perfect build for a PvP effort each spear. Now, for PvE elements, I'd say look at Rodeo or Surplus. You want to ignore Performance Bonus because as enticing as 25% chance to add ammo on kill is, that only gives you one additional shot for a sniper and shotgun, so it's not really even worth it. So you need four kills with this thing to even get an additional bullet, so it's not worth it. Surplus would be good for PvE, and Rodeo would be great as well to continuously hit those precision shots over time. All right, we're going to hurdle over the next upgrade and go right into the tier tree. Snapshot, lightweight, and high caliber rounds are available in the first position. Field scout, armor piercing rounds, and send it in the second slot. And skip rounds, perfect balance, and custom optics available in that final and third spot. Now, what do we look at here? Snapshot is the ideal one that you want to have on your effort deets for PvP. And that 30% faster ADS speed is influential when it comes down to needing that quick shot, especially if you couple this with final round. You're going to be able to just panic, aim down sight, one shot to the body, anywhere. Take the big toe out, and it's GG for them. So it's important. High caliber rounds are a great perk, but definitely not on a sniper. The flinching is not that big a deal, to be completely honest. And if you're talking to build an effort eat for PvE, I shouldn't even have to say it. You're probably staring right at it right now. And that's Field Scout. That doubles the ammunition available for the spear, and it increases the inventory capacity too. So that means you have more on the side to use. So this thing goes from three shots to six shots, just like that. That is the one that you have to roll if you're trying to build the ideal PvE effort eat spear. Now, moving on to the last and final ability in the third spot. So the third and final ability for the Everdeed Spear Chain, we want Outlaw, Clown Cartridge, Mulligan, Firefly, Grenadier, or Final Round. For PvP, it has to be Final Round. The last round does 33% more damage to the enemy. And in PvP, that's overkill. They are barely surviving with a smidge of health because of the high impact of the effort deed. This final round, make sure that anywhere you shoot them on the body is going to be a one-shot kill with that third bullet in the magazine. Now, the PvE element. Ignore Mulligan. It's absolutely horrible. Firefly is a fan favorite, but according to my research and what I've dug up is precision kills do 50 damage solar damage in a five meter radius as exciting as that is that's not that strong of an explosion not to mention you have to hit a precision kill on that and seeing as how we pretty much only pull our snipers out for things like knights and bosses and stuff i think that's more of a perk great for scout rifles versus snipers so i'd say dodge that as it's sexy as the perk is i'd say stay away from it leaving only three other maybe four other options out there outlaws not half bad clown cartridge is the one that i would prefer if i had to Grenadier is actually pretty solid too, to be honest. And then, of course, final round does what it does. It's kind of like adding an additional base shot without a you know precision shot and an extra shot into the body because it does an extra 1,000, 2,000 damage depending on whatever gun you're using. So again, that is the Effort Eat Spear broken down. So to defend my earlier statement saying this is the best sniper rifle overall in the game, I'm going to have to tell you why. I assume I'd have to do that. You guys know the roles now. You know how to obtain this gun, and that's by participating in the Iron Banner. You could buy it depending on the week if he has it for sale, and if not, you have a chance, depending on the week, if it'll actually drop as a reward, and this week it will. So, why is it exciting to have the Effort Eat Spear? For starters, getting it is awesome. It's an accomplishment in its own, but it is re-rollable, which means there are options and customizable abilities to have on this weapon. Unlike the other great guns in the game, the Icebreaker and even the Black Hammer, 
Those have preset options. They can't have different roles. So if there's something on them like Mulligan, like Icebreaker, you absolutely do not need and is a useless perk, you have the option to have something like that. So what can I do? What makes this stand out? If you compare this in a PvP element, the only other gun that I think rivals this one would be the Praetor's Revenge. And just because it's quick rate of fire and manageable stability makes this thing great for the average player because it's a great double tap. You don't have to go for headshots with the Praetor because it's a good gun to get follow-up shots with quick on. Now, for a veteran, this gun is ideal because you want to go for headshots. If not, go for the body shot and get quick with, you know, like a regime swap out to finish that final tap to put the nail in the coffin. And of course, the third perk allows you to have the final round that is a one shot kill anywhere on the body you'll see me take advantage of that perk in this game right here and that's absolutely nasty so as much as having three rounds is a problem it's also its greatest benefit because it allows you to get that one shot kill anywhere on the body and not have to worry about the pressure of doing that so even if you wanted to especially with the abundance of ammo special ammo on a map in pvp even if you wanted to leave this thing at three shots in the magazine just blow your first two shots and only use your third shot as a one-shot kill. I mean, there are different ways to use this thing. Final round is a beast of an option. So that's that. That's why this thing is destructive in it. The high impact, making it super strong, leaving them with almost no health. Headshots are one-shot kill. Final round's a one-shot kill. You get this coupled spray and play, and this thing's going to seem like it's got infinite ammo. Now, about the PvE elements. Now, this is why I say this is great. Now, the white nail perk on the black hammer is incredible, but it is also situational. You're only going to be able to use that on certain things, maybe knights, depending on the level of the characters. It can be used on certain bosses like Fogolf and Sepix, but for the most part, you're going to have to reload a lot because it's three shots now why i say this one is better than that it's because it's ongoing it has perks that are available and work throughout the entirety of using this weapon six shots field scout that's already an improvement now another great feature of this is this also has arc void and fire aka solar damage that means you could build your own perfect sniper for whatever you want for whatever you know nightfall may be out there so that's something you can't get out of the other ones. The Black Hammer and the Icebreaker are all solar damage weapons. You only have so many options out there. So, this way you can actually build your own, customize it, hope to get the right rolls, and you can have a beast of a weapon and the right type of element that you want for your game, and that's incredible. So if you want it with Surplus, go for it. You want it with Final Round, go for it and aim for it. Set your goals, and that is what makes this gun stand out upon the rest, is it is semi-customizable, of course, with a nice little hand of luck in the mix. This gun is the best sniper rifle in the game, simply because of its customization potential. So with that, guys, hopefully you can understand and value this gun a little bit more. I honestly have fallen in love with it. It's one of my favorite snipers in the game, as you can see right there, see exactly how disgusting this thing can be. So, go out there, try to acquire the weapon, see what you can get done with it, let me know what you think about this. All I gotta say is final round, man. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what other kinds of weapons and armor that you would like to see me review, and I will try to get those cracked out for you guys as soon as possible. Be sure to hit the like button as it helps this series out a lot. I'm truly doing my best to kit these out for you guys, so thank you guys. All feedback's appreciated. Have a great day, and good luck in the Iron Banner event this week.